Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me turn the volume on really quickly. Um, so today's video is once again going to be a hair video, but it's going to be a little bit different because I've never actually tried this before. So recently I was watching a video from Miriam Hampton about how to grow your hair overnight and I watched it and it was a little too good to be true, but her hair did grow overnight. So I figured I would try it try that too I'll put a link for it down below she got the idea from another video that has like six million views and she went ahead and did it and I think like when the day before her hair was like a little bit above her belly button and then the day after her hair was below her belly button so the whole entire premise of growing your hair overnight is basically like the ingredients that are in what I'm about to put into my hair is protein and your hair has protein in it and it's a whole bunch of crap that like you're adding extra protein and blah 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 your hair's gonna grow um <clears throat> so i for actually forgot to record the ingredients but I, for some reason i only recorded like me stirring the ingredients up so i'm gonna show you guys that and i'm gonna show you a picture of the ingredients that you need So before we get started, let me just do a length check. So as you guys can see, um, with my hair unstretched and unlike manipulated, it's by my shoulders. And then with it stretched out, it's right around here. So let me get closer. My hair's right around there. I should probably use like, hold on. There we go, so you can see it better. So that's pretty much where my hair stops. And hopefully it grows by tomorrow, which is kind of a lot. I don't, I don't even really know, like I'm very, very, very skeptical about this whole entire thing, but we're gonna see how this works. It seems too good to be true, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. So if you wanna know how to grow your hair overnight, continue to watch this video. And also just for proof, hold on, let me just make sure you guys know. So you guys don't like this isn't overnight blah 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 two different days so that's my dog in the picture by the way so right there it says sunday september 4th it's now 7 41 p.m so let's get started so here is the mixture all mixed up with the eggs and the grapeseed oil i am on a sitting on a chair and i also have a towel on the chair so i don't get it like all messy so in the video the first video like she like poured it into her head, Miriam poured it onto her hair and just put it through her hair. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. This is, I don't, I'm not really that excited about doing this. I've never put egg in my hair ever, but we're, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this again. This is so gross. This is so gross. It actually... Okay, this is the craziest thing. It smells like... There's a, a Greek cookie called Gulurakia. Gula, Gula, Gula and it kind of smells like the mix to it. I don't know. That, that's kind of tripping me out a little bit. Okay, so that whole entire process just took around 10 minutes to put throughout my whole entire head. My hair is completely saturated and the next step is to pretty much take a hair tie that you don't care about and tie your hair up in a top knot bun. Your hair is pretty much going to feel like you have a whole bunch of gel in it. It's pretty um, sticky and hard and I don't really like how it feels. You can kind of see why I never put egg in my hair. Anyway, so yeah, take a hair clip or a tie, I'm taking a hair tie. Make sure your hair is pretty You're gonna take some plastic wrap, saran wrap, and you're going to wrap that around your whole entire head. So 
Get the plastic wrap all of your hair. Make sure that's on there as tight as possible. Not tight, but just enough where I know it's not going to come out. Take scissors and cut that. Okay, so leave the plastic wrap on your head, I look like an alien, for a whole entire hour and you're going to rinse everything that you just did out. Um, I don't want to get my camera wet, so I'm not going to show you guys rinsing out my hair, but I'm going to rinse it out with shampoo. I'm not going to use any conditioner and you'll see why in a second, so I'll see you guys in an hour. Bye guys. Okay, so I took the saran wrap off of my head. My hair feels kind of like crunchy a little bit. I just don't like how it feels. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair out because that's what she did in the video. I am going to be using shampoo. I'm just using head and shoulders right now. Go ahead and rinse that out. What I did, what she did, Marion didn't say like how much coconut oil to put in. So I just put in around three tablespoons of it because I do have a lot of hair. My hair is very, very thick. So I went ahead and put three tablespoons in it. As you can see, it's moving. It's not completely liquefied yet, but it'll liquefy once I rub it into my hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and get to rinsing all of this out, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so now that that is all rinsed out, I made sure to rinse out my hair with cold water or pretty cool water, um, just because egg is in your hair, and obviously if you use too hot of water, um, it could cook itself into your head. So I used pretty cool water when I was rinsing my hair out. So. Now that is all out of my head, I'm going to go ahead and take my coconut oil. Just make sure to, once you're done and rinsing out your hair, you don't put any conditioner in it because obviously the coconut oil is going to act as your conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and take that oil. Are you also putting that, even with using that treatment already, like I feel like my hair isn't as frizzy as it usually is whenever I, I do my hair out of the shower you know what I mean like it just it looks better to me I don't know so now once your hair is full of coconut oil take another hair tie I'm using a different hair tie than what I used to tie up my hair before I actually threw it out just because there was egg on it and obviously raw raw egg isn't that sanitary so I'm taking a whole new hair tie and I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did with the grapeseed oil and the egg mixture I'm gonna go back in with the plastic wrap. There we go, you can see it there. The plastic wrap. And you're going to wrap that all over your head like you did with the grapeseed oil. And you're going to look like an alien. You're creating a hole in that, so. So you're gonna wear this overnight while you sleep, while you're sleeping. So go ahead and take a t-shirt. I'm taking a pretty big t-shirt just so I can wrap that up around my head. Put the, the bottom part of the t-shirt around to the back of my neck and then I tied it with the sleeves on the side. And yeah, you're gonna keep your hair like this overnight. And I will see you guys in the morning when I'm done washing out the coconut oil from my hair. So have a great night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, good afternoon. It is September 5th at 4.50 p.m. so I'll show you guys the date so you guys know I'm not fucking with you guys um I just wanted to let you guys know that I did not diffuse my hair I didn't do anything to it it's 100% air dried because last night my hair was also dry too I didn't stretch or anything like that it is a little bit flat but besides that that is really it um looking at it like this I don't really notice a significant difference in length which I'm sure I wouldn't anyway because obviously hair shrinks, so we're just going to go ahead and stretch it out. So last night, I'm going to put a side, by, a side picture down now. So this is where my hair is now. And last night, I think it was around here. So it grew a little bit, not like... A significant amount of length but it did 
do something to my hair and I really like how my curls look honestly so I think I'm gonna try to do this like every month if you guys know of any other treatment to like grow your hair out um, quickly or something like that just let me know so I can start doing like a whole little series on it I guess because I mean it was it was really fun to do even if it was kind of just like BS it was fun to try um, honestly like even if it didn't do that much for length I feel like my curls look really really good just doing that with the egg and grapes oil was really awesome so um, just so you guys know I rinsed out the coconut oil I didn't wash my hair since I washed it last night so I just rinsed it out and then I put in my Dave curl conditioner and um, my hair product which is the Andre Walker hair I don't want to say that I hate it and I don't want to say that I love it so I'm kind of like in the middle of it so yeah if you guys tried this let me know if you guys saw a difference in your hair or if you have some like I said if you have a better one for me to try then go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter my Instagram is AllieCallie26 and my um, Twitter is capital A L Y underscore capital C A L L I E and I will see you guys on Wednesday have a great day guys bye